Okay, so what I want to show you now is just some other distribution features that you have available to you. So, I mean, you already have incredible amount of uh, flexibility around how you can get these insights out to people. But what you can also do is within your reporting area, so I'm just going to navigate to the, to the actual report, is you can um, distribute in, in, in other ways as well. The, the first way is you can go share here. So you can share your report just by sending people emails. So you can um, send, grant them access by sending them an email. Um, also, you can send them the report link, but still they would only be able to look at the report if they actually had access and were, provi were provisioned to actually access it. So that's one way. You can also export via PowerPoint and also via PDF, okay? I've already done the PowerPoint one just sort of earlier, and I just wanna show you how good you know, visually it looks. So this is this when this first came out, it was absolutely horrible. But you know they've worked worked hard on on getting the sort of quality of the image you know uh, up really really high, and it's not dynamic though. So you know unfortunately it doesn't have the full functionality um, of what you have in the Power BI online service. You know and that's why you want to encourage people really to stick to the online service honestly. But you know I know some people still like printouts. Uh, and so, you know, this is how it will look um, within your PowerPoint. So it's great. And it's very similar with the PDF as well. Um, as discussed earlier, you can go subscribe, um, you know, create subscriptions via email as well, you know, for ongoing, um, to, for updates, etc. cetera. So, so you can, um, for those who are able to access your reports, you can just send them daily emails or weekly emails or whatever. Then comments, you can add comments as I've shown earlier. You can also favorite it so that it would then appear in your homepage as you log in. You can also here do um, embed. So you can embed this report into SharePoint, into a website or portal with some HTML code. You can also publish to web as well. And so um, what's come up here is I actually need to contact my admin, which is me, by the way. <laughs> so this is quite funny. Um, we need to change the settings. So this is, a, this is actually a good segue into what you can do from a settings perspective inside of, of Power BI. But basically what is, is published to web, if you go to our showcase page, you'll see here that you can use live demo. Well, that is basically published to web. We have um, created um, all of these and put them into the online service in our organization and then we're published to web and then you can utilize them, right? You can't see in behind what's going on. Um, you'd have to um, upgrade to membership to do that, but you can see how, um, um, how you can actually use them just like we're using them here, right? So what you can do up here in settings, so there's a lot of settings that you can um, manage in behind the scenes. And so if you go to admin portal up here, down here you've got a number of different options. And then if we work down, so you've got user metrics, users, audit logs, tenant settings. Um, so if I go tenant settings, or embed codes actually, um, or these are the embed codes that I actually have. So this is just giving me a summary of those embed codes. But I think I need to go to tenant settings and then we'll have a look down here, export and sharing settings, publish to web. And so if I just go enabled, choose how embed codes work, allow existing and new codes. So if I just go click that, and then I'm gonna go apply. See this, so this is, this, is, this is pretty great. Like there's a lot of ways that you can manage this as an organization, because there obviously is risk of people just sending out these embed codes to anyone, right? So I think that that has been updated now. So if I just come back in here, and come back to that report, I should be able to now embed embed this. So I'll just come over here, publish to web. Yeah, so I can create the embed code. It gives you a bit of a warning. And then now I have this code here and I can close that and can paste it in here. And now my report is embedded into this website specific website code and then I have all the same functionality as I have and so you can this is great for prototyping if you want to prototype something send it out to someone really quickly this is a good way this is a good way to do it okay so there's a lot more settings to explore than than what we've gone through here another another good set of things to explore is within within your workspace dashboards and reports you have all of these different options here that you can click to so you can view usage metrics you can share here you can um, analyze in excel so you can actually export all of your data to excel um, you can i think this is quick insights this one 
this one is view related so view related um, like data sets or workbooks or whatever settings um, we can we can have a quick look at this this is the sort of last thing I want to cover see if this quick insights yeah search for insights so this is a, a feature called quick insights it's sort of that light bulb it's sort of like power bi trying to guess what insights are interesting out of your model okay so it's not going to replicate what you've already done it's basically gonna just recreate what it thinks are um are a good um i'll just make that a bit bigger um are a good insight right and so and honestly i don't love this feature just yet so i'm not going to say you know this is going to get everything that you could possibly need from an insights perspective um but it's interesting nonetheless you know what uh, what is what 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 it is actually able to find so you can have a look through you know it's sort of just it's basically just guessing insights some are just pretty useless honestly but you know count of locations i mean is that really going to add much value to us count of sales and quantity by week yeah so have a look through have a look through i don't usually use it at all i've really used it to be honest but um i think they're you know they're making improvements out of it they are making some improvements um over time you know in terms of look and feel and functionality so so def def definitely um at least worth a look okay so i think that's basically it this this, this is all i wanted to go over from um, the online service point of view okay it's a really powerful tool just like power bi desktop and just like the query editor and all the functionality there this is another this is sort of like the missing piece of the puzzle that has now been created and can scale up your um, analytical um, distribution and needs within an organization you know immeasurably it's just it's just unheard of what you you know this functionality provides compared to what what we what we have been um, able to do you know in years gone by okay let's round up and um, that sort of brings us to the end of the um, sort of training piece and you know in the next section I just want to go over a bit more about the um, about enterprise DNA and our content and our offering and um, how we can continue to help you in, in many different ways mm -hmm.